Hey guys, Vineet here. So in the last few tutorials of Stack, we talked about few of the basic fundamental operation of Stack, but there are some another use cases which we haven't discussed yet. So in this tutorial, we will be discussing about those edge cases, which are I'll be showing you here. So the first use case is when we are trying to insert something, but Stack is already full. Okay, and another use case is when we are trying to delete something from the stack but stack is already empty so uh, we'll be discussing these scenarios how we are going to handle these cases all right so let's discuss about the first case which is stack is full okay means when we are trying to ins insert something into stack but stack is already full so as you can see we have given the size of stack is 5 and we have inserted the five element what happen if we will insert a new element into stack which will be sixth element so stack dot push which will be again long type 12 long okay now if you run this program it will throw kind of yeah index out of bond exception you can see index size is 5 so what it is displaying uh, array index out of bond exception so your index size is 5 but you are trying to add 6th element into that this stack so index 5 out of bond length is 5 alright so this is the first use case now how we gonna handle this let's look into this first so we will be creating one method utility method like or let's create it private because we're gonna use this method inside this class only and the return type of method will be boolean all right we'll be checking is full whether this stack is full or not all right and inside that we'll be checking whether top element which is containing the length of the stack okay when we are adding anything into stack see so we are uh, keep increasing the length of this top all right now we have to compare whether this top length is equal to max or not max is the maximum length of stack all right so we will be checking whether top is greater than or equal to uh, max length all right will be returning that if top element will be greater or equal to max in that case we will be saying um, stack is full all right now where we have to use this let's see that as well so we have to use this while inserting something into stack so we will be checking If stack is full in that case we will be printing one message stack overflow all right and we will be returning control from here itself all right so now let's test this but you can test let's comment this out first and let's test whether it's causing an issue or not so you can see it's not causing an issue let me command these all the remaining operations so that we will have clear visibility on what we are doing okay later on we will uncomment it all right let's rerun this now you can see these are the five elements okay now let's again perform the uh, same operation let's add sixth element into stack but the size of stack is five we haven't changed the size of stack but we have controlled it when stack is full it should print stack overflow so let's go back let's run it again yeah so we have inserted these elements but while inserting the 
sixth element it is throwing st stack overflow all right now we can try inserting another element stack dot push you can insert something called abc all right now there won't be any exception as uh, we got it before right so you now you can see these are the five elements which got inserted into stack successfully now we will be getting um, stack or overflow exception for these two elements so you can see these two elements for these two elements we are getting stack overflow okay now this is the one use case another use case is when there are uh, yeah when stack is empty and we are trying to delete something so let's discuss that as well but for that we have to comment all the elements which we have which is uh, basically uh, adding the element into stack so now there is nothing okay I'm commenting okay let's uncomment this now so the first operation is second operation is pop so let's uncomment this all right now you can run okay see so it is saying as there is nothing in stack right so that's why it is printing null 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 five time because the size of stack is five okay now uh, we have another exception that is array index out of bond so index size is minus one index minus one out of bond for length five means index started from zero to uh, four right so total length is five but we are trying to get the element from z uh, negative index minus one the index that's why it's throwing uh, array index out of bond exception so let's handle it so how are we gonna handle this <coughs> so let's go to pop operation see if the top value is zero and we are decre decreasing this top element and trying to get something from stack so stack is empty there won't be anything on the minus one th index so let's <coughs> create one another method called is empty all right now <coughs> we will be using top here again but in the, this case we won't be comparing with max because max means we, have, we will be checking the top element I mean uh, max size of stack now here we have to check the least size of stack whether it is uh, top is <coughs> less than that or not so if top is less than or equal to zero all right so in that case we will be returning true value so let's check where we can use this so while uh, yeah while deleting something from stack we can we can use this so is empty if it is empty so it has to print something called stack underflow all right and again we have to return null to the caller method whoever is calling this method all right so if stack is empty it won't come outside to this if block all right if it is not empty it won't go inside this if block and it will directly um, delete the element and return the same deleted deleted element back to the caller method now let's go here and let's run this again now you can see we are getting stack underflow right because we are trying to delete something uh, which is not there in uh, stack not something but we are trying to delete the top element which is not present in a stack stack is empty itself so another thing is you can see we are printing the um, null here so right now 
our stack size is five, right? But what if our stack size will be um, 50,000? So in that case, it won't be a great conven uh, convention to printing null of 50,000 time, right? So we can control that as well. So while sh uh, calling this show method, we can do one thing. We can call is empty. If it is empty, we can print the same message again here. So let's copy this. Use this here and return empty. All right. So now let's print this, uh, run this again. <coughs> yeah, you can see it's saying stack underflow or you can ignore this just to return okay <coughs> let's see on this yeah stack is underflow and one more thing so we are printing deleted also yeah because there is nothing anything inside uh, stack and we we are trying to delete that's why it is uh, printing null here all right because there is the element is not deleted if it, it if it will not present in the stack so <clears throat> these are the two use cases so let's look into these operation whether we have we can use the same in here or not okay so we can use here all also so let's call stack is empty if it is empty you can print stack is empty all right let's call this peak operation let's comment this out oh it is throwing exception all right i think we forgot to uh, return control back to the method yeah we have to return control as well or we can print we can return this directly instead of returning null this will be nice okay let's run this again now you can see top element of stack is stack is empty okay or you can you can print here itself it doesn't look fine and return null see stack is empty and top element of stack is null all right because there is nothing inside stack so it will print you null so these are the few uh, edge cases which we haven't handled while writing the operation of stack right so in upcoming tutorials we will be doing some uh, another um, operation on stack so that's it from this video guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you